YouTube. Um, thanks for checking out Performance Reviews, where I give you reviews and technical advice based on my experience as a vacuum tech. Today I have the floating wonder vac, the Zero G. Um, and we're just going to take it apart, see how it comes apart, what's inside, uh, and what's involved in its service. So, let's take that out. So there is some dust going through the bag, so we can vacuum that out and maybe wash it. I do have another one of those we can do. And as you can see, there's no visible screws here. We have some screws here, but that's of course not how this is coming apart. We have all these screws on the bottom. So let's take the top screws off first, just in case there's some little magical surprise in here I'm not aware of. I'm curious what's just under here if I look in here. Oh, we just have a printed circuit board with the power check LED in there. So there's nothing that you're going to need to do right there, presumably anytime soon. One thing that has happened to me a couple times, I will say, is that this spring under here gets uh, moved to the wrong spot and you have to pull this off and readjust it. You can see it's a little dirty around the edges. So let's see what's on the bottom with all these screws. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 screws for my Hitachi to get its work out with. love doing that. So we have the airflow glide right here. Set that aside. And we have yet more screws. So if you were some sort of crazy back shop that didn't use electric screw guns, ooh, you're gonna hate this. Too. All these screws are the same so far, which I like. Right. Path the motor takes. have some of these screws out all the way. I don't know why that, that those didn't come out all the way. Oh. Any more in the middle. Wow. Um, it's hard to believe that uh, something this small is producing the power that this machine has. It's stuck in there. Let's take a look at it. We have a single fan. Tiny little sucker in there. What do we got here? Oh, Cinderson, another Chinese motor company I'm not familiar with. LTD, 1200 watts. Uh, I don't see Taiwan, China, Malaysia. I don't see any of those markings on here. 
So I'm going to assume it's China since everything else is made in China. Um, really tiny little motor on here. Now what I do like is we have this rubber hose. We have a gauge here that is going to turn on that LED if you have a blockage or full bag. I do see how the cord all goes in here and everything is very, very serviceable. So I really, really like how serviceable this is. This is simple. There's nothing unexpected in here. Everything is clipped together. We have quick releases on just about everything but the power cord, which I think is interesting. But those again, that's fine. Basic switch. Everything is easy to get to. There'd be no mysteries in diagnosing this machine. So let's go ahead and put it back together, um, which I'm going to do one of these. So upon putting everything back together, and our mess of screws, I'm going to turn it upside down. And the reason I'm doing this is the motor has to line up with the lid, and that's the only way that's going to go back together. So going to and then we have to just seat this bumper properly All right, everything else looks everything there looks good that was fairly easy Start putting the uh, out the screws in here. I'm gonna try to do them kind of like a torquing pattern of a like a car bolt or a uh, car tire or something like that. machine has almost nothing to break in it. It's about as basic as can be, which I really like. That means it's going to last a lot longer. There's less to go wrong. Um, Scotty Kilmer would approve of this. Just going to quickly wipe off the carbon dust that's on here. Yeah, you can tell it's not dirt how hard this is on there. This is carbon dust. If you're not familiar, you can put a part with carbon dust on it. You can see that it's very clean going into the motor. Uh, sorry, what I started to say is parts with carbon dust on them, they're hard to scrub off. You can put them in the dishwasher and sometimes they won't come off. This being a painted vacuum, I would avoid putting uh, any of the white painted or silver painted sections in the dishwasher uh, if you're using that dishwasher for food. If it's only for vacuum cleaning, Maybe I would still avoid it. All right. The next is this lid. And I'm just going to wipe off the inside just because I'm meticulous. Uh, again, there's carbon dust on it. It's not like it's dust. Now I would imagine if this was from a house with some really oily dogs or something this could potentially stink if you don't wipe it down. I'll wipe it down before I do anything else on this side as well. So I guess that would be a downside to this machine. It could blow carbon dust on the floor but it's coming out so fast and it's not staying in one place anywhere long enough. I don't think that will be an issue. All right. You know, Ed, who, des who designed these machines and run this com runs this company, you know, he's an engineer. He's also kind of practical because he's used a lot of different vacuums. And it, it really shows in the construction simplicity of this machine how well this goes together. Uh, it's so simple. Just 
This is such a nice surprise. With so many machines getting more and more complex, you know, with Dyson and Shark and all those companies, don't just make them to be serviced. Some of those machines you can't even open up. So this is just such a nice break from that. I would say if you wanted to make some sort of cradle to keep it from rocking back and forth, uh, just put some carpet and some 2x4s or maybe even just get two Mila cord rewinder boxes. That would be a suggestion I would have in terms of working on this. Alright, last screw. As we reassemble, I'm going to put the charcoal filter slash electrostatic filter. There are two magnets here that the pre bag uh, will fit in, and it goes very nicely. Doesn't matter which way it fits in. Um, I would wipe clean this black part. Uh, Dust is going to build up in there on that. That actually goes into the bag. The bag just goes in, doesn't really matter which way, and that will latch there. So plug it in, make sure everything is working the way we want it. Excellent. So, as always, please subscribe, like, comment, and if this video helped you out today, please consider joining our Patreon page. Uh, where just a little bit of money gets you exclusive content, giveaways, and it helps our channel out a whole, whole bunch. Have a wonderful day.